this portion we implement our request response pattern in our code that is we send request and also get the data okay so in our editor i close there and everything and first of all i'm going to the our sender application and copy this line again okay and method name is test 3 okay now i start our code minute okay so i create a model hmm. common work add class hmm. balance update here i send prop string hmm. type of instruction prop string hmm, sorry decimal amount okay so david or credit i created so var request data equal new um, balance update suppose type of transaction minus amount and amount suppose i write 50 dollar okay so i created and now if you when you are implementing request response pattern you need to another dependence injection that is i request client and also add the sorry class balance update and the client so enter the read only property completed now bar request call await request uh, underscore request underscore uh, client sorry client score client dot create request data and var response suppose i need a response another class uh, uh, this class also uh, prop decimal now balance okay so or without using this i create a class at class uh, now bal balance class now balance class prop decimal balance so i need to return the balance so they are response await request dot get also await sorry no need await get response jet response and uh, now balance okay so i also add the debug point here for getting the balance and our sending part uh, yeah the uh, template is 
request response tutorial okay request response tutorial and also uh, return okay uh, response that means i want return the balance in our response so our sending part work is done now i'm going to the our receiver part i create a class uh, add uh, sorry here add class request response tutorial class okay so it also need to inherit i consumer that is balance update missing member here i created a static property get so for data equal to context dot message so data is the balance data okay so here i get the balance data and return Uh, return or no need to return await var and if I write the code suppose okay some dummy data you write any condition here I am uh, providing some dummy data context await await async okay await context dot response async response async response async and our model is now balance so uh, here i write a var now balance balance equal to new now balance i created a hard coded balance suppose 100 thousand okay so here the now balance is the return type generics type and now the now balance okay so here we implement the request response pattern so i create a debug point both of the area okay now in our i need to some other work in our startup file similar i and copy the line as a request response tutorial request response tutorial and also copy this and paste it request response tutorial and the type is response tutorial okay very simple so i run the application again you see where application started send the application also started if i go to the revit mq and you have c request response tutorial part comes and mq and also request response tutorial part also comes there if i go to record response tutorial try it out and execute unable to oh sorry sorry uh, when you are using request response pattern you also need to inject something that is in your sender application startup startup part in your sender application startup file inside here x is a problem service here 
Hi, 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 what is the completion part? Semiclone. It's another semiclone needed. Expected token, that means a second bucket missing. I think some bracket related issue is present there. What is the packet here? It is complete here. This complete here. That is the context part. And this part is here. Okay. So I create x dot add request client add request client and our balance update okay inject if you not inject this then the portion is not working perfectly so what's the problem yeah the problem is multi i using multi line but not use any second bracket so if i write the second bracket and cross it and cross the second bracket here and then complete it so i'm formatting our code part okay perfect so again i run this application Okay, so again I refresh it and request tutorial try it out and click the execute code comes there request response if I this and you see the data is come there if I debug if you debug and you see data is 50 and minus amount and we send the request thousand and if I completed everything and if I response uh, view and now await if I check it you see the balance is thousand okay so you uh, you different application uh, we learn all the scenario if we want to send request and forget and also if I if we want send request and get response every type of scenario we handle in our RabbitMQ tutorial okay so i think you understand it properly and you also understand in RabbitMQ admin panel what is exchange what is queue what is channel okay so i think you you have better understanding now in your message broker and RabbitMQ in spnet core okay